Okay, I want to do a quick unboxing of this uh, $15 truck that we we got. This is the $15 truck we got from Menards. It is a off-road destruction monster truck. It has uh, upgraded uh, features on it. Oversized tires, extended battery, it's 2.4. Uh, left and right has shock absorbers. It is a 1 18th scale scale it says off-road series and it says high speed drift So this was only $15 at Menards uh, We're gonna do a quick unboxing so I can get this battery on charge <laughs> comes in the box got some mud got uh, envisionary toys thanks dear customer and support email all right here's the truck let's get this out of here There's the truck. There's the controller. It's supposed to be an antenna. That's the antenna. There's no real instructions. Here's what the bottom shows. Got a little left and right uh, adjustment for your steering. Lithium ion just clicks together. We're gonna do some uh, modifications to this, whatever I can do. Uses two AA batteries, not included. It comes with the lithium lithium ion. So the controller you got to put AA batteries in. Yeah, unscrew that. Front back. That's probably power. And got steering here kind of weird not great but we'll compare this to uh, to the two RC's we have and see what the difference is not independent suspension looks like the suspension the suspension is yeah, let's take these off Not a great place to put your pins. We'll try to mount a GoPro or something on here. They just screwed a roll cage on. Pretty flexible body. Well, I think that. Independent suspension in the front, and then the whole back suspends like this. Attached on a small little rail there. You got your body mounts. Tiny little shocks. We're gonna take those apart, see what we can do with those. Maybe fill them with some oil. Take the motor apart. See if we can't grease the gears up. Maybe put some dielectric grease in here. Maybe try to get this a little waterproof. See what we can do. Tires are just screwed in. They're not foam filled, they're just hollow. Plastic, not rubber. So not a lot of grip, that's why it's gonna drift. But 
let's get the batteries charged up on this thing get some batteries in this controller and uh, I'll compare this to the two RC's we have and then I'll uh, compare this stock and see what it does and then we'll uh, modify it and see what if it does any better we'll do some time trials and stuff all right stick around okay so to get the battery out you just undo this screw and there's a little oh isn't that cute a little lithium ion battery just flopping around in here nothing to hold it or anything but looks like there's plenty of room for more Got a two prong hookup. You see that? All right. Three point seven volt. They give you this little USB charger. You just plug the battery in here. We're gonna try this all stock before we do anything to it. So we're gonna get this charged up. We'll be right back. You can clearly see there's a red light on the USB plug, and I imagine that will shut off or turn green when it's charged. Alright, so it hasn't even been a, maybe a half an hour, and you can see the light's turned off, so I imagine that is charged. Again, there's no real directions, but there is a support number if you need it. Alright, so we're going to get some uh, batteries in here, and uh, I already put some rechargeable energizer batteries in here. And there's no on or off button, but as soon as you touch something, it searches for a signal. So I imagine once it connects, otherwise it just shuts off. So let's take this cover off. And we're going to just put it in the way it is. We'll make modifications later. So, it's like the prongs are on this side, so we want to line up the holes. Not a whole lot to hold on to. Alright, snapped right in. Just put this in there, I guess. There's nothing to hold it. And this will clip, and then you just close the screw. Now, this has an on and off. off it's on I heard a little jolt Let's see if this connects oh yeah all right seems to work two-wheel drive The two that we're comparing it to are four-wheel drive. But uh, we'll get this uh, body back on and we'll take it for a test. Test drive. Stay tuned. Okay, so these pins obviously are easy. These pins down here, I can't even get to either way. So I'm on my wife put those in, but you really need to be a kid. Or this unscrews this... Uh, bar here it's four screws that'll come off and i think that might be something i'm gonna have to take off in our modifications because i can't get to these this one does this opposite yeah all right guys we're just gonna do a real quick test run Turning left and right. This is definitely not waterproof. The ones that we're comparing it to are waterproof. Um, we're gonna try to make this wa as waterproof as we can in our customization. Um, but the two, this one's $15. The one tenth scale that we're gonna show you is uh, $60. And the one fifth scale, scale, I think it is, maybe, Maybe not. Don't quote me on that. 
but we'll check it out uh it is about a hundred and hundred and hundred and ten dollars so that's the price comparison and you'll see the size difference but left right reverse forward all right let's see if it drifts Pretty responsive. Not super fast, but. Dude, stop. Stop. Go. Sit. Some. He's not hurting you. No wheelies, though. Yeah, I can do wheelies in this thing. We'll try it on the on the carpet, see if it can get a little grip. Maybe it'll lift the front tires up, who knows. Does donuts. See if it'll do reverse donuts. So the wheel is really, all you do is, there's no like, it's either yes or no, right or left. All right, here we go. Has a hard time doing reverse wheelies or donuts because it is all your powers in the back. It's rear wheel drive. Front does great wheelies, er, wheelies. Donuts. All right, let's give it some obstacles to drive over and maybe let it jump a ramp, see what it does. Okay, so we got a little micro obstacle course set up, so, you know, a little USB drive, Tetrabyte, and some, some other stuff. A little ramp we're gonna try to jump over. We're just gonna see if it can crawl over this stuff. Hey, nice. Tires are slippery. They are plastic and not rubber, so I'm gonna try to modify those somehow. That's good. There you go. Nice, nice. Go, go, go. That's the one I was worried about. Got it. Got it. All right, let me set this ramp back up and see what we can do. Okay, so we got a ramp here. As long as I can hit this uh, straight and we don't sway, um, it should work. The ramp is basically as wide as the truck is, so we gotta line this up perfectly. All right. He likes to spin. It's hard to turn sometimes because it takes off. It's a pretty fun little toy, I guess. Let's see if we can get this up 
cramp a little bit better. Jump this whole thing, maybe. So there you go. It's got some fun. I mean, for 15 bucks. All right, let's give it a test run on the carpet and see what it does. And then we'll come, we'll show you what we're comparing it to. And then we'll customize it. All right, let's see what, uh, see what happens here. Duke's all mad. Two-wheel drive does pretty good. Oh, it climbed right out of that. Nice. It's even got some power. I mean, for its size. Uh-oh. Oh, got out of that, too. Oh, it might be done now. This is still on the same charge, I want to add. So to stop, you just hit the opposite way you're going. And it's kind of like an, a brake. Won't do a donut on the carpet. So this is our $15 RC from Menards <clears throat> from uh, what's that card say? Something toys. And they asked for a feedback. So there's the remote. And uh, here's our Bez gear. One fifth scale, I think. 2.4 gigahertz remote. And here's the legendary that we've modified and customized. Now, these two are four wheel drive, uh, both are waterproof. And uh, we do have some vlogs out with the stuff we did. See, dual shocks. They're all oil filled. They have lights, and the uh, remotes are a lot, a lot nicer. But this one's around a hundred to hundred and ten dollars. This one's around sixty dollars, and that one, of course, was only fifteen from Menards. But we can uh, do some upgrades and customization to this one. Um, I think it's a little slow for me. And but I did like the power it had, so we'll see how it does after we do some changes to that. 
and see if we can get it a little better. The remote itself is lackluster for sure. But definitely a great little car for 15 bucks and uh, for someone to start out. Uh, it's a lot better than the um, conventional uh, RC cars that they had out for years. It does have the independent shocks. It has the 3.4. You can uh, customize it if you're, you know, if you probably an advanced person could customize it. I wouldn't say the everyday Joe could customize it, but there are some things you could do to it. Uh, because the body comes off, you could paint it and things like that. Uh, the tires just unscrew. So, yeah, definitely a fun little toy for 15 bucks. And if you got a little guy wanting to start in RC uh, cars and you're not sure how much he's going to uh, be into it, check out the $15 RC car from, and I'll put the link up here because I still have no idea what the name of that place is, of the maker is. But I will put the name up here. And a link uh, where you can find your own if you don't find them in your Menards or you don't have them in Menards near you. Stay tuned and we'll do some more, uh, be a little series of RC stuff with this guy. Maybe some of these guys. Well, we hope you enjoyed this. And at the very least, we hope it inspires you to go get your own little RC and mess around with it. Or get one of your RCs out of the shelf and dust it off and play with it. So hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Share this out with your friends, guys. We'll see you next time. Peace, y'all. Let's sing all them songs from a long time ago.